people seem magically convinced that it's, like, trendy to vlog in front of bookshelves. So, here I am, in my living room, in front of a bookshelf. Because I can. So, this week's topic was, what book changed your life? And I found that to be particularly interesting because I think a lot of books have changed my life. I think reading as a whole has changed my life. But if I had to pick a specific category of books, I would say that I owe a lot of my most favorite book-based epiphanies to John Green. The first book of his I ever read was The Fault in Our Stars, and I bought it while I was at my friend's house, sleeping over, and it was about three in the morning, and she was asleep, and I was just sitting there, reading the book, and sobbing, and it was great. <laughs> and I read Looking for Alaska, and Paper Towns, and his Let It Snow Christmas book, and an Abundance of Catherines, all within, like, the next month. And I just, I thought they were amazing. I loved the ideas of Looking for Alaska, and I loved all the religion-based ideas in Looking for Alaska, where they talked about the meaning of suffering and existence, and I also liked the pranks, but that part wasn't as deep. And I loved the beautiful suffering in The Fault in Our Stars, and all the thoughts about life and death, and I don't know, I liked it. And I liked An Abundance of Catherine simply because it made real life look not quite as real. He turned real life into something that could be as interesting and adventurous as fiction, which is something that I think not a lot of authors have accomplished. And the reason why I had never read John Green books prior to roughly a year ago, is that I had always been against the idea of realistic fiction. I never liked reading books where the events that happened in them I could just go out and do. Because, I don't know, I just never found that particularly appealing. And I was turned off the genre by Andrew Clements and the boringness of everything I was forced to read in elementary school. And John Green got me back into a genre of books that actually were surprisingly interesting. And I never realized how great books about reality could be until I read those, so I think I owe a lot of my more recent selections in my reading repertoire to John Green, as much as I owe him many other things. So yeah, that's my perspective. See you guys next week.